Well, well, well. Isn't Sunday sesh number 10? Goes quick. You're all here for it. Number 10, eh? This is uh, where we all get together and see what we've all found for the week. Which takes me to, we need to get back on the track of that too. Like, I know people are excited about showing what they found years ago and all that stuff, but it's really just based on uh, what we're finding week to week, what's still out there. Um, that's what it was originally all about. But, um, so we need to get it back along those lines. So this one, I'll, I'll post people's old finds and, you know, from ages ago, but we'll keep it on a week to week basis of what's, what's out there and what people are finding and what's, what's still being found. So currently, yeah. So if you want to get involved, coinscudscollect at gmail.com. Uh, put your name, if you want your name, say yes or no. Um, I'll just use your YouTube name. What state you're from. Um, try and explain a bit about the coin. I mean, I do most of the research on it, all of it actually. But um, yeah, Friday cut off, post this on a Sunday. So 12 people involved this week, which is good. Five from Queensland, two from Victoria, New South Wales, we've got two, one from Tasmania, South Australia, we've got two. West Australia, we've got none, but you see mine videos every week anyway, so yeah. It's a coins cards collecting thing, you wouldn't understand. So, without further ado, let's get it. I'll move this out of the way. Get into our first Sunday session. I think that's, um, yeah, it's pretty good about what it is. Well, I'm going to kick it off with Grace. Grace from Queensland. Um, she's got the A 2022 2 milli minted AUNS series out of Woolies and the Barobi 2018 2 milli out of the games. Very nice close up picture there, Grace. Very close. Good condition. 75th anniversary peacekeeping. This is the last Royal Australian Mint release, anyway. I think, yeah. Really nice coin, that one. Nice design. Two milli minted, good condition. That's how you got to get them. Uh, what have we got here? The Cockatoo. Crazy Corner. Is that Series 2? And the Best and Ferris, which are the latest AFLs. Got the Chaz Brownlow as well. There's two of them. Uh, Spirit Lives. That's a 2015, so that's the lowest minted. 1.4 milli. On that one. And 35th anniversary. We've got the A there, Privy Mark. 35. There for the 35th anniversary of the dollar coin. I just noticed a little bit of a cut on that head there. So if you haven't noticed that, Grace, um, there's a little bit of a cut there on the Kangarooki's head. So that'll be a 2019. I've got a 2015 there. And an F. That's what they put in coin machines, I think, to um, yeah, to see um, if the coin machines are working properly. Apparently, so that must be a three-legged roux. I'm not sure if I've got the photo of that. I don't know. 2015 must be. 
Okay, it must be. And a couple of Limby coins, 2020s. They're pretty common, these ones. Two milli, courage, resilience. That was Grace. Then we've got Alan from New South Wales. He's in the Blue Mountains. How you going, Alan? Uh, he's got the couple of nice 10 cent cuds. A uh, big chunky one there. Big one. And just one going through there, that longer one. And just the International Women's Day, which is 6.8 milli. Just get a nice one of them for your collection. I forgot what year he said these 2010s were. Um, it might have been, I mean, 10 cent piece. It might have been 2012s. Cheers, Alan. Jeff from Tasmania. I've got some foreign invaders here, he reckons. Got a little 20 cent New Zealand, 20 cents and fives. Get a lot of them. They're the same size and everything. That's a, that's why. Uh, 20 cent changeover. 4.5 milli on that. Eddie Marbo, 1.4. You've got the possum there. Three colour coins in that possum series. That one's called Invisible. All two milli minted. Crazy Cornuts, Dinos, Matildas, and a Resilience. And another Matildas there. So that's from Tasmania. Uh, we've got Lindsay, South Australia. She's got the mixed bag here. She's got the flame there, um, eternal flame. 5.7 mil. She's written it all down as well, just there. 2,000, 5.7 mil. Police coin, 2019, 2 milli. The new 2024. Is that the first or second one? Olympic coming up. Um, she's got the... I'll try and zoom in a bit there. Three-legger ruse, two found. So just in that gap there. There's no leg. Done a good job here, You've written everything down. 2022, Grazy Corner, okay. 84, Plancher Error, which she's got the one next to it, which is a close up. Or Plancher Floor going through there. 2019, uh, I don't know what it is. That's the full photo too, so I can't really do much with that. Um, 2019, U, pretty mark there, 1.5 milli. So yeah, just a, there, the U, 35 years, and the S, same deal. And then, so, no, well done on how you done, done all that. Lindsay, that's awesome. Lindsay's from South Australia. So cheers for that. There's another picture here. Oh, that's a V for Crazy Coin Series 1. That's out of $100 of $1 coins, $200, $2 coins. So at least you got something out of your 100 bucks, which is of $1. That's not too bad. All right, we're getting on to Sally from Queensland. Sally. She's done a thousand dollars in one dollar coins and a thousand dollars in fifty cent pieces. It's got the eighty-five one milli minted, three ninety-threes. They're all one milli minted as well. Uh, a couple of wide dates. Incomplete legend. Yeah, need a little bit more light on that one. Uh, not in terms of circulation. They're a bit hard to see too. Um, is there another photo or is it just that one? Let's have a look. No, it's just that one. The first one. The 
the first one's out of the Blinky Bill. Uh, it's a 910 for circulation, 2009. Dorothy Wall. That one there. So that one's there. She's got two Walsing Matildas, 1995. Um, the B... Four mint marks B, C, M, and S. B is 74,000. C mint marks 156,000. M mint marks 74,000. S mint marks 82,000. I can't quite see the mint marks on them, but that looks like a, a B to me. And that looks like a C. So one's 74, one's 150 something. Try and zoom in on this. So this one here, this one's 2012. It's called a wheat sheaf that came in a book. So C, S, B, and M are the mint marks. That one's C. They're all together in a, in a folder. So 20,000 mint of that book. This one here looks interesting. It's a Gallipoli one. So there's five mint marks on that. B, C, G, M and S. Can't get um It's 200 years. So B's got 42,000. C, 88. G, 35. M38 S41 and then you got the flurry Howard flurry there it's 1998 you got a lot of uh, not in terms of circulations out of your thousand bucks that's or dollar coins that's pretty good going so the A mint mark on the flurry is 21,000 B is 29,000 C is 217,000 M is 21,000 S is 44,000. That looks like an M to me. Could be wrong. But they all look not too shabby, really. I mean, they don't look too, too trashed. So some of the not intended for circulations you run. This oil feels really missing. The letters in that. I mean, all strike, incomplete date. I can see an eight there. That's about it. So. Thanks, um, Sally from Queensland. There's a lot of good ones there. Uh, I've got Kevin. Kevin's from Brizzy, Queensland, two thousand one. Very nice, not intended for circulation. The Australian Air Force, 80th anniversary. 94,000. It's highly minted for a not intended for circulation, but. Nice coin, that. It's in very good condition. And he's got his first rotation. 2010, 50 cent piece. Interesting way of uh, showing the rotation, mate. Very, very well compromised there. But good on you for finding one. I'm still losing me that one, so I think it eludes quite a few people still. But they're out there. And this is proof, so keep turning them. Um, he went and got some 50 cent pieces. Rolls. I need to um, sort this out a bit. Sort me mad out here, it's a bit, bit screw whiskies. And the Nadox are here. Rolls of Nadox. Not just rolls, there's um bear with me. Just went a bit uh, sideways there. It's 
trying to spin the photo. But it's a bit hard. Where were we? Sorry about that. So there's his close up of it, and there is all his other rolls. Heap, heap, heap of rolls. What's that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. There's about 24 rolls there. So they're coming out, peoples. Coming out in big numbers by the looks of it. Haven't seen them here yet, so. So that's in Queensland. And he found this 2015 Swiss franc. Five franc, very nice. Got a B down the bottom there. Doesn't say much else. I did have a bit of research. I think it's five million there was three on the on the proof coin, so. Yeah, 2015. Thanks, Kevin. Now we're getting on to Snapper. Now, Snapper, you're killing me, mate. You're killing me. Eight emails. Too much. Too much. Um. But anyway, these these are. This was found in 2023. Noodled red poppy. Yeah, just try and send all your finds on a Friday in one email um, with just all the photos in one email because it gets too much. Eight emails is too much. Snapper, what are you doing to me, Buzz? So 2012 Poppy. Looks interesting, the red on this. It looks very, very deep. I don't know. Looks like it might have been touched up, is it? Do you think it's been touched up, Snapper? Looking at it? Because on the original 2012s, poppies, um, you can actually see all the writing, all the writing through the through the paint. It's sort of like a, just a thin layer, but I don't know if that's been touched up or... Not sure you'd know because photos can be a bit this deceptive. So, but congratulations on that 2012 poppy. And it was noodle, yeah, 2023. He said so. It's not recent. Well, recent enough, but not. Yeah. Uh, Matilda's coins or Millie's. Noodle them on the. Saturday or something. We've got the Charlie 2016 Anzac, which is 2.2. Two, 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 two. Crazy Common Art Series 2, just there. Crazy Common Art Series 3s. And 2019's Crazy Common Art Series 1s. So I feel there. Nice condition, eighty-eight, two-dollar coin. HH be worth anything, that mate. Rare, rare as the old HH. But that international year of um, volunteers, that two thousand one looks very, very crispy. Very hard to get in that condition or find at all. And the Scouts one looks nice too. Six million the international year of volunteers, but. It's um, a nice coin. Now this one confuses me. It's a 2014 emu egg. I've never seen an emu egg before. Let's put one next to it, but I've just the photo just isn't doing it. I can't see. There's one comparison next to it, but I just can't see the emu egg. I'm going to have to research. It's the first time I've heard it, to be honest. Anyway. But it's one to look out for. Um, if people haven't heard of it, this is what Sunday Sessions is about, is running new ones and 
Yeah, for new ones. Uh, a couple of indigenous languages. Just a nice 2000 lamb. No fat lettering, not incused. That one isn't incused either, so. No, it's not incused. No fat lettering. So, we just found a couple of them. Uh, nice ram head up there. It's our day 10th snapper. New South Wales, 2020 JCs, one millies. 2019 JC, 2.1 IRB, 2019, two, uh, 1.1 milli. 79 double bar, 77 is a jubilee, isn't it? Yeah. Nice 71 there. Well, they look nice, 83. There's indigenous and the egg, yeah, I can't. Can't see that one. That 71 looks crispy, mate. Very crispy. And the 77, yeah. Nice. Nice 83. Uh, more photos. Same of the same ones, just a bit more close ups. And these are the trail lines. A wisey pointed these out last week. The trail lines, he circled them here. I think he's been a bit funny with his little, um, with his picture here, ain't you? Eh? I think you've drawn a chatter, mate. So there's trail lines all through there. 2001, that's on the um, Coat of Arms Federation. That's good that you serve them. Cheers for that. 2021. Um, beat cut. And it's also got, with this beat cut, it's also got a cut inside the zero. So it's usually got both. There's a beat cut there. Uh, what else we got? He's done $200 in $1 coins. FL, big banana, a couple of big Aussie things. They're so hard to find. They, they just disappeared. 2016, 2.2 2 milli on the Anzac, 1 milli, the two orders. 2014, 22 mil. Just got that one to make the city, apparently. And it's found this Newland, that's beautiful. 2012, colour 50 cent piece. He said he's been collecting for four, four and a half, five years. And he came across this. That's an absolute ripper. But I, it's not recent. He's found that a while ago. So, But thanks for sharing it. It's very, 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 very crispy. I was having a close look at it. It actually looks like it's been cleaned, Snapper. Around the lettering, it's... um. I don't know, it looks quite dark or something. But that was, it was out of a proof set or just a normal, normal set. I'm not sure. 2012. Beautiful coin. Yeah, very nice. Um, 93 there. $100 and 50s. I think this is still Snapper, isn't it? I think so. One milli. 94 wide date. See on the wide date there. And actually, I think this is Wayne now. Yeah, this is Wayne. Wayne, New South Wales Barrel. He's into us with the uh, 50 set planchet there. On the 81, just going through there. So New South Wales is here. Um, he's found five changeovers since, well, 
one dollar changeover since January this year. That's pretty good going. Five this year. That bottom left looks pretty crispy. Five hundred and sixty thousand on the changeovers. Everyone's chasing the changeovers. Uh, he's done six hundred dollars in two dollar coins. Invictus Games got the new Olympic one here. Changeover. Vegemite one milli. That's the new one. But look at this one here. Hey. Eh? 2015 less with the yeah, war graves. I'm jealous. It's probably my second favourite out of the coloured coins, I would think. After the honeybee. So yeah, I really, really like that one. That's an awesome. Awesome coin. Awesome find, mate. Yeah, he's got this one he wants to share. Has anyone seen a blue donation dollar? This one's um, very blue. They're usually aquary, but that one was... Um... That one is very, very blue. Let's keep you up for them. Thanks, Wayne. New South Wales, we got PJ. PJ's from Victoria, you all know he is. So you got there, very nice, 2001. It's not a rotation, but nothing written down about a rotation anyway. AFL ones, uh, Anzac, I'm not sure what year. Big ears down the bottom. Big Aussie things, at least you're getting a couple. Matilda's, coloured coin there, one milli. And there's Invictus, a uh, nice rim cut here on the $2 coin. And he's got a not intended for circulation, which is 1997. It's a Charles Kingsford Smitty. Um, how many mint marks are on them? Four, A, B, M and S. Or C, no, and C5. So C mark's 244,000. A mark's 33,000. B, 41,000. M, 48,000. S, 90,000. Uh, nice, nice work on that. And you can just see the C mark just there. So that's a C mark, 244,000. Charles. Kingsford Smitty. That was PJ. Cheers, PJ. Oh, I hope you hope you're getting better, mate. He's he's been uh, running a bit rough lately, so get well, mate. Ian from Victoria Ringwood. He's got a mixed bag here. There's a few photos. Um, Grows a coin series ones. AFL, Kelpie, I think that's a 22. Um, Anzacs, I'm not sure what year. I don't think he wrote them down. But better picture here. He's been ripped off again with the five cent there. You've got the frontline workers, two milli. Changeovers, got Poppy. You've got a few Rosemary's again. 2011, 1.8 mil. What'd you get? Three, three less we forget, did you? One, two, I did see a third one somewhere. It's got the gold ring, the Rio, one of my favourites, T20, all two mil, them ones. Rosemary's not, that's, I forgot what that was. Yeah, what else? Tilders, a couple of new, new $200 ones there. Got changeovers, gold poppies. How many rose uh, mosaics? I mean, you got one, two, 
to my legs. Got socceroos here too, two milli, two front lines. So it's pretty good going. So cheers there, Victoria. He's then pulled off the red poppy last week. So he shocked everyone. Everyone fell off their chair apparently. We've got Wisey. So we've got two people left. There's Wisey, this one, and there's one more. So this is the elusive helmet cud, which you don't see very often. On the 2005 Remembrance. You always see the road cut on these. That's pretty popular, but to see the helmet cud, very hard to find now. Hard to find the helmet and road cud. So if you get one of them, you're going well. I think I've got one of them. I might have to break it out and have a look. So nice helmet cut there. 1998, uh, 88. This is a tall ships and he's got, he's got the dot right there between the eights. So look for that one. Oh, but he's found two. All right, I'll rub it in, was he? No one can find one and you've found two. Look at this dude. Two dots. Nice. So 1988 tall ships. Now let's go through his fitties. Five Eddie Marbos, 1.4 milli, indigenous languages. Royal Visit's got its own effigy. I think it's about five milli. A couple of rams. Everyone's favourites. I think they're about five mil. Tall ships, they're the ones with the dots between the eights we just saw, if you knew. Um, yeah, and all your centenary of feds are all between two and three thousand. Ah, a million. Two, three mil. What am I thinking, thousand? Listen, this dude. I don't know why he got that that one there, there for was he? Volunteers. I'm trying to find a cut or something on it. I couldn't see anything. And you got a 50 cent Endeavour, which is the New Zealand 50 cent piece, isn't it? Yeah. There you got the 2016. He's got the double. He's got the double roo. Uh, rabbit here, one there, and that's sort of like a backpack cud. That's pretty good. 2016 double cud. Nice. This looks a bit proof, proof coiny. 1988. It's very gold. And this is very hard to find too. Old Johnny Travolta with the hat, hat cud there. That's very, very elusive. So that's a good one for your collection. So look for that one. Not weight vintage, but it's, it's, that cut is what we look for. Um, let's go through his dollars. He's got the U, U, and S down the bottom, and an A, I think. So all of these are 1.5 mil, 2019s, a couple of big years, four big years. Matildas, Matildas a dino, a few more dinos there. Oh, what? What, only, oh, only three changeovers this week, Wisey. Eh? Only three changeovers. Far out. So Wisey done 118 rolls of $1 coins. 114 rolls of two dollar coins and 114 rolls of 50 cent pieces. We'll just have a look at his not in town for circulations up there too. That's the Wiggles one. Um, not sure about the mintage, but yeah, there's four coloured in the set and two one dollar coins. And both of these are the same. They're called, he's got two of them, 2010 Coinage Anniversary, they're called. They came out in RAM folders, two different RAM folders, apparently. 
one with C CSMB mint marks, which is 31,000. Another one with PADH mint marks, and they were 20,000. So I can't see the mint marks on them. That one looks shocking, Wivy. It looks like it's been sitting in a riverbed for a long time. And that looks like his proof coin there. He's got the... I'll tell you what, for all... All your rolls of $1 coins, that just proves it, doesn't it? Like, 118 rolls and you've got two Aussie big things. That's nothing. They never really, they never really hit hard anywhere, did they? All right, let's get into these two dollar coins. One hundred and fourteen rolls. Uh, S's and U's at the bottom. Out of Woolies. A couple of Matildas. One Millies. Uh, he's got the four flames. What were the flames again? They were. Four point seven or something like that, something like that. Um, a few emblems, a couple of veggies there. He hasn't got the favourite, the black one millies. A couple of nice honeybees, two millies, and he's got three rosemaries. Wow, I'm trying to find one. Two thousand seventeen. Remembrance Rosemary's here. I think they're 2.1, are they? Yeah, something like that. Got three of them, and he's got the gold ring out of the Rio. So it's a pretty good couple of top rows there, Wisey. Not bad at all, mate. Wisey's from South Australia. Sent him some good stuff. He's got that, and three changeovers. Uh, three not in terms of circulations. Pretty good effort. Pretty good effort. Cuds, um, Narbos, it's got the whole whole bit. Now we've got this. We're going on to Yo. Yo's in Queensland. More Nadox. So who was the last dude in Queensland? What's his name? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was Kevin, yeah. Kevin's in Queensland and Yo's in Queensland, so they've both got a truckload of these coming out in Queensland by the looks of it. Something for the tourists. Yo did say he did say that he opened these to look for cuds and rotations and stuff like that, but I don't think he found too much. So about twenty-two rolls of Nadox. Uh, he's fifty cent hunt. What have you got up here? Feds two o eightus. Yeah, nice ram head, real crispy. Seven milli on the changeover. 2019 IRBs. J JC's kept that because he doesn't find many of them. 2.1 milli. I think there's another picture of this. Got an Eddie there. One, he's only found five this year. So this is a donut and these are snake eyes, so... I'll get into his other ones in a minute. The snake eyes and the donut. But he's done well here too. Look. Another green dove. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, 1.8. He's got a couple of rings there. Rio's, police coin. Matilda. Your usual suspects, 2019 JC. And uh, Socceroos, but yeah, he's pulled off a, uh, a that looks like a front line. He's 
pulled off another. Yeah, there he is. Another green dove. I think he got one last week too, back to back doves. Getting sport everywhere else. And he took a video, but I just had to pause it and take a photo of the donut. It's taken him a long time to actually find the donut. So, 2012 donut. But here's his changeover as well. One dollar changeover. Not too shabby. Yeah, pretty good nick. So there's another changer. What's that for this week? Why's he got three? You now he got one. So he's done, now what did you do? You done 40 rolls at two dollars or something. Something like that. I don't know. Can't remember. It's too much to remember, people's. Yeah, just a changeover. Um there's his one dollar effort. Another dove. Dove and changeover, you've got to be happy with that, and a donut. And four snake eyes. And you pulled up Aussie big things too. You got the old crayfish up there. So he noodled quite a bit. I'm not sure. He did write it down, but I forgot. You got to noodle a lot to actually get get some. This is just a couple of pictures. He went through his collection. This is what you got to do, people. Every three months, at least, go through. Check for green because it comes out of nowhere. So. These are all the coins that he had to get rid of. There's a lot there. There's even armistice and everything. So he had to take back 246.50s, $81, that's 72 $2 coins. So it's four savings, 350 bucks worth taken back after finding the nasty green stuff. So. Make sure you're vigilant every three months. Have a quick look through your collection and get rid of the green. Yeah. That's about it, people. Gee, that's 42 minutes. Far out. That's because there's a lot of pictures, I suppose. But I'll blame Snapper. Thanks, Snapper, for your eight emails and 300 pictures. And, yeah, we'll take, blame it on Snapper. All right, thanks for dropping in, people. So enjoyed it. Some more great finds, but... From here on, we'll just look, we'll just, um, whatever we're finding week to week, that's what we're interested in. Um, I know you like having a look at what you've found previously, but we'll just stick to um, our week to week finds because that's what this show, well, it's all about, yeah. Anyway, appreciate it. Um, yeah, get your coins in for next week by Friday. Good luck noodling and um, hope you find some goodies. Till then, cheers.